150 years ago, a group of people decided to start studying scripture together and ultimately ended up doing the work of sharing their resources so that they could start a church on the north side of Oshkosh. The people quickly outgrew the original wooden structure of the church and donated enough money to build the structure that is now our sanctuary. Through the generations, people have shared their resources, they have shared their faith, they have invited others to come to know God in this beautiful and holy space. The building has been added on to three different times throughout our history, once in 1924, once in 1965, and again in 1994. I'm Kathy Wiegand, she, her, hers. I serve as the pastor here at Algoma Boulevard United Methodist Church, originally known as the Algoma Street Methodist Episcopal Church. All are welcome, and we're so glad to be giving you this tour today. We know a whole lot of reasons why this place is important to us. We have stories to share about when we've experienced God's presence with us here. Maybe it was on a mission trip or during Christmas Eve service. Maybe it was in a Sunday school class or in doing something fun to take care of this place. We know that there have been meals together, baptisms, weddings, funerals. All of life happens in this space and all of us are connected to it in different and beautiful ways. In addition to our own stories, we continue to find ways to reach out to others, not only people in our congregation, but people in our community and all over the world, seeking to find new ways to share God's love, God's grace, and God's presence with everyone that we meet. We do the work of launching new ministries in hopes that we can share the good news of Jesus Christ with more and more people so that we can do the work of building disciples of Jesus Christ. Join us on a tour of the projects that we are hoping to fund over the next three years. Projects that open up the opportunities we have to share God's love in the world. The sanctuary doesn't look exactly like it did in the late 1800s, but it still retains some of its original features. During a renovation in 1942, they took out all of the gas lines that came in to combine in the gas electric lighting that they had in the sanctuary. Can you imagine this room being lit by the flicker of gas lights? We only really get close to that in Christmas Eve worship when we all are holding on to our candles and the lights go out and we're singing a silent night. The lighting in the sanctuary has become an issue. There are some problems with it. In addition to many lights being burned out, we also have some actual light fixtures that no longer work and need to be replaced. Back in the day, local firefighters would come in with their very tall ladders, and some of the firefighters would hold on to the base of the ladder, while others would climb up all the way to the very top of our ceiling to replace the light bulbs. We don't do it that way anymore. Um, the way we do it is a little more complicated and a whole lot more safe. In order to do the work of replacing our broken fixtures and getting new light bulbs in that will last a long time and are energy efficient, our estimates are running around $50,000. I'm sitting underneath the sanctuary. The rocks behind me, the rocks next to me, are some of the foundational pieces of our building. A foundational piece of what we do is acknowledging that Jesus built his church on the rock. He didn't mean that literally, he really meant about the people. But we also know that when we use strong foundational pieces as we build disciples of Jesus Christ, we have God's presence and God's strength. And it lasts. And for that we are grateful. A foundational piece of our capital campaign is the work that we'll do to raise the money to do all of these projects, which will help us continue to do ministry through the years. In order to have a successful campaign, we'll be working with Reverend Jason Mankey from the Wisconsin United Methodist Foundation. Pastor Jason brings with him a deep spiritual presence along with great expertise in the area of finances and fundraising. We'll essentially be hiring him through the process to guide us along so that we can have the best possible outcomes. 
The work he'll do with us is the foundational work that we need to do in order to raise the money to do the projects to build on this rock. And the way that Jesus has called us to continue building and growing and making disciples for Jesus Christ. The foundation already did a pre-campaign study for us to study the viability and the chances for success for us in this campaign. If you're interested in seeing those results, you can look for them on our website at abumc.org. The work of the United Methodist Foundation will give us more tools, will give us a stronger foundation than we would have had if we had done this work on our own. Our goal for this campaign is just under $500,000. The fee that we'll be paying to the foundation is $18,000. That's a little less than 4.5% of our total project. The foundational work of raising money, the foundational work of taking care of a building are always very exciting to think about and they're not always that exciting to fund, except when we think about the bigger picture what these foundational pieces do for us, what this building has done for us and will continue to do for us. These foundations give us strength, give us longevity, give us an opportunity for God's presence to grow in our community. Our continued work helps us reach out into the world, helps us make disciples for Christ and helps us keep building the foundation that Jesus began all those generations ago. These projects are important for so many reasons. Why are these projects important? We've been using this place for 150 years to help people connect with one another and to connect with God. Many people have known the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place, and it is our hope that we can continue to do the work of reaching out and welcoming all kinds of people to participate in God's presence in their lives. In order to be a place where more people can experience God's presence in their lives and find ways to respond to God's calling, it's important for us to take care of this place. We need our building to be maintained and in good working order so that our staff and our volunteers aren't held back in any way from doing all that God has called us to be about as we seek to share the good news with everyone we meet. We follow God's call to community building, to sharing God's love and grace, to being a welcoming presence in this building and throughout our community. As we continue to do this work, our project plans will be available on our website at abumc.org you're welcome to keep following up with us and seeing what's new. Please pray for God's presence and God's guidance in all that is before us.